Ray Mio is back at it with their 2025 AR glasses. They made bold decisions and even bolder claims to bring a new and improved solution to their successful Ray Mio Air 2S released last year, but also to bring the most aggressive introductory price we've seen to flagship AR solutions. Hi, I'm Clef and you're watching Game Tech Talk. First off, thanks to Rainio for sending these in for review. This has no impact on my opinions, no money change hands, and they see the video at the same time as everybody else. Going over what buying the Air 3S will get you, but first, please know the price hasn't been disclosed with me at the time of making this review. All I know is they are targeting a sub 300 USD price point, which is ludicrous in the most pleasant ways if truly achieved. You'll find a carry case, a Type-C to Type-C cable to connect hose devices of all kinds, a cloth, a replacement nose pad, and a demo prescription lens kit. If interested or in need of, this can be ordered separately with their recommended partner, Lensology. In case this is your first time hearing about AR glasses, let's rapidly go over what they do and how they do it. It starts with a pair of glasses and each of your eye has a super small screen that is amplified think a special magnifying glass, you then see huge OLED panels in front of you, similar to if you were sitting in a theater with a 201 inch giant screen at some couple meters in front of you. Feeding that giant screen is as simple as one, two, three. You connect a USB-C cable to a device that supports video out. That's most phones in 2025, handheld PCs, dedicated portable TV boxes, or even a Nintendo Switch, and quite possibly a Switch 2 when it'll release. You can blow out your 6.5 inch phone to a giant screen in a matter of seconds. Back to viewing, the Air 3S uses an optical pattern trademarked the Hue View. But the Air 3S does bring changes to cover what is called the interpupillary distance to up to 90%. And with that change, the blurry edges are gone, which I can confirm. Their technology, OptiCare, is designed to offer superior eye comfort by using support dimming technology that eliminates flickering. As it stands, I have not been subject to PWM based issues, therefore I can't confirm. If you have a pair and notice the flicker gone versus last year, which it should, let us know in the comments, that would be greatly appreciated. Another improved metric is a contrast ratio, which offers double the performance versus last year's model. For up to 200,000 to one, a very pleasant and noticeable upgrade with a very tiny caveat. With greatly opposing contrast images, say white text on a black background, there is just a smidge of hollowing that can appear around bright elements that contrast with darker ones. Though. I should point out, this may be specific to my eye, your experience may vary. Thankfully, it is not as disruptive as one might think, and I also believe that my ability to go back and forth between the previous and current new model further illustrates that difference, as otherwise, I probably wouldn't have picked up on it. Also, the new model offers better brightness, better vibrancy, and just as good motion clarity. Another change is having gone from 10 points of brightness adjustments to 20 points with the newer model, allowing for the intensity to be better dialed in. An undeniable prowess of 2024's model was the audio and was the best I heard out of any other AR glasses. Thanks to Rainio's quad speaker design, which are returning from last year's model, as well as the whisper mode. Having speakers on the frame of the glasses is awesome, but can also cause audio leak, meaning that people in the same room would hear the sound coming out of your glasses. Whisper mode is engineered to prevent your audio from leaking. By activating it, you'll get a nearly identical listening experience while keeping the throw of your audio to a more intimate distance to not annoy people that are close by. Well, with your audio at least. Talking about the frame, you have a couple of buttons on them. The left side temple sports the volume up and down button. Long press the volume up will cycle the whisper mode off while volume down will cycle it back on. The standalone button will bring up a menu to make adjustments to the whisper mode is one, the refresh rate from 60 to 120 hertz, and color modes. Another improvement versus last year's is a fourth mode when talking colors, returning our standard game and movie, and eye protection is the fourth and newest, each offering adapted color spaces to match your preference. 
On the right temple is where you'll find your USB-C connector and close by are your brightness buttons. Long pressing either of them won't do anything, but if you quick press a brightness and volume button at once, it'll bring up the 3D side-by-side -side feature. This can be used to watch spatial videos using Rainio's XR app available for iOS or else. While not going in depth in this video, please know that Android as well as PC users can find downloadable apps by visiting Rainio's website, something I strongly suggest doing to further expand the usability to greater extent, including AR spatial experiences on PC, where I stopped at 9 windows, something anyone with Air 2S and Air 3S glasses should try. Now, about the devices you connect them to, which can be a multitude of things, the most obvious and probably the finest experience you'll have is using your cell phone. Very few exceptions may not work. For example, my wife's Pixel 7 doesn't, but that's a limitation of the phone, not the glasses. You may want to double check if your phone supports video out through USB-C. You can also connect a Nintendo Switch, but to do that, you'll need something to act as a dock. For that, Radio sells a solution called the Joy Dock. I spoke briefly about it in my Air 2S review, and it'll remain compatible with the Air 3S and should equally work with the Switch 2. It comes with a plastic socket, to strap to the back of your Switch, that being Switch 1 compatible, and sports a battery as well as a USB-C port to keep connected to the wall to charge your Switch while you're playing, and a USB-C video app to connect your glasses as well. And indeed, due to the flexible nature of Joy-Cons, it truly doesn't get better than this for a portable, but also with a giant screen experience. The Joy Dock was and still can be bought separately. Uranio also offers a discounted bundle. I'll make sure to put the links in the description so that you can verify for your own if they have. Now, the other accessory designed specifically to be paired with the Air 3S is their Pocket TV, a battery-powered Android TV dongle. It's got a 65,000 milliamp hour battery, 64 gigs of storage, and three gigabytes of RAM. It can run a handful of Android games, but it's not built for demanding emulation or graphic-intensive games. It's a great tool if sticking to streaming, GeForce Now, Amazon Luna, PS Remote Play, Moonlight, and many more. But of course, Probably the most obvious use case is streaming media solutions such as Netflix, Amazon, Prime, YouTube. The cool thing with the Pocket TV is the remote control is built with the Pocket TV itself. It even got a micro SD that you can bring your own movies with. Just as the Joy Dog, the Pocket TV can be bought separately and most likely offered in bundle as well. Another cool thing, if you have a low-powered portable monitor, you can connect the Pocket TV for an easy to bring along Android TV experience, all self-powered from the device itself. For the rest of this review, let's just drop some key information. Number one is we're looking at 1080p at up to 120 hertz. To my gaming nerds out there, we good. <laughs> Rainio got us covered with the sweet motion clarity, something the Pocket TV won't do by the way, but most of your phones and handheld PCs will at 120 hertz. These glasses are bright, like they'll usable outside in broad daylight bright. Now, I waited long to do this and I strongly recommend against it, but if you remove the protective sticker, you will somewhat see through the glasses as they are not completely opaque, but rather heavily shaded. Not only does it protect the facing lenses, it also blocks light, and while it is indeed wearable tech, I am not particularly looking to walk down the street wearing those, and I would advise to not do so. To bring this review to an end, Rainio sought to make flagship AR solutions more affordable and more accessible, which they have without taking away from its previous version, and rather they improved many aspects to greater heights. All that while dropping a never before seen price outside of the pre-owned market. If you never owned a pair of AR glasses, it would be challenging to recommend anything else at this point because while I tested many options, some very recently, it is true that they are not built the same. These glasses are only as good as their foundations. When it comes to basics, Rainio has got absolutely everything covered. Once you're in the ecosystem, only then could it make more sense to invest in alternative options based off of your needs and desires. But if it boils down to just never compromising your viewing experience again, the Air 3S strikes a compelling balance, especially when considering the value proposition. But even if not doing so, as the features simply do not disappoint, 
course, should you wish to procure a pair for yourself, I'll invite you to click the link in the description where Rainio will further guide you through their options. Thank you for clicking and watching the video and to Rainio for sending a pair for review. Please consider hitting the like if you enjoyed this content and to subscribe to not miss any future one. I'm Clef and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.